Hello there, my YouTube gang. What's up? It's Johnny for City again. So this is really just a gate video into the wonderful world of the creepiest guy on YouTube. How creepish? Well, you'll see soon. Now this all began when the subversive multi culty lefty Captain Islamo sympathizer and stealth jihad denier Imam Koran the Dick Cufflin 616, who is actually an undercover Illuminati agent of the Luciferian Zionati Mossad, introduced me to this uh twat flap. Also known as Ryan Dawson, whose brain is so unique, his neural circuitry actually managed to develop new logic operators, resulting in stuff like this. Anything that isn't nothing would be something that nothingness couldn't come from it. Now, besides really liking his own videos, Bladder Brain Ryan also bears an unnerving resemblance to this guy. Including even the speech patterns. I don't have somewhere to put it. That's the way it is. Earning him the inevitable nickname Dawson Creek. But more than anything, he belongs to a growing group of zombie brain people possessed by the tormented ghost of what was once known as the New Left. The characteristics of its modern reincarnation being anti-everything that is remotely related to the colonialist crusaders, i.e. western powers, anti-anything that might be related to the carnivorous zombie vampires, aka capitalists, and even anti-war to the extent of what I call criminally insane militant pacifism, which makes you say things like this. Iran is not a threat to the United States at all, even with a bomb. With a straight face. Four, suffer from a really bad case of what can only be described as a bad case of David Dukinis when it comes to the state of Israel. Racial supremacism to the same peak of Nazism, a fascist state of racial apartheid and ethnic cleansing. We have got to get that parasite out of our ear, that tiny little fascist worthless country. Five, forced secularism, in which many lefties are forced to deny the existence of deities, not because it's stupid and childish, but because their political club requires it as a fucking membership prerequisite. Which results in the final characteristic, a desperate search for another prime mover to lay your blame on, which is of course a gateway drug for conspiracy theories. Which is a part of the IQ deficiency syndrome inflicting the new left, which was also discussed by one of the last sane people in the hard left, Bernard Henry Levy. Magic, esoteric explanations, plot hypothesis, and conspiracy philosophy. Now, in the case of Dawson Creep, this conspiracy cancer actually managed to metastasize into some pretty weird fucking places, including astrophysics, I do not believe in the Big Bang, anthropology and genetics, the African origin myth, assuming we all came from Africa, sustainability and ecology, global warming and climate change or overpopulation, that stuff, it's minutia and cherry picked evidence, history, FDR knew Pearl Harbor was coming, geopolitics, the Israelis control US foreign policy, religious terrorism, and I live with this inside job, and even the genocide of the Jewish people in Nazi fucking Germany. But as far as gassed and burned, we don't actually have physical evidence for that. Although I must admit that every now and then, the level of absurdity does extract a smile or two. This war is probably the world bank that money goes to Italy. Oh, sorry, I meant this. Johnson and the Israelis were working together before they killed Kennedy. But what I like most is the selectiveness of his conspiracy theorizing. So while yet another conspiracy douche, Mr. Alex What's-His-Face, has dared suggest that the popular uprising against the pro-West Egyptian dictator Mubarak was actually a CIA plot, creepy poo responded this way. He blames the revolution in Egypt on the CIA. Millions of people in the street couldn't possibly be a legit revolution against a dictator. But when an anti-Western, anti-Israeli Iranian puppet dictator is faced with popular uprising, well then of course... It's Turkey. And... Qatar. And... Saudi Arabia. And of course... Israel. But really, more than anything, this watery trash bag of genetic waste is obsessed with... The criminal state of Israel. And his method, borrowed from the petrodollar Islamist extremist radical left propaganda machine was described beautifully by him.
circumvent intelligence by appealing to emotional righteous indignation. And the easiest way to do that is to simply lie to people. So in the lying arena, you have something like this. Arabs and Jews cannot go to the same high schools together. It's segregated by race. Which I find pretty hard to understand given pictures like this. We are the ones who make the better day, so let's not give in. Then you have catchphrases like the apartheid wall, and probably my favorite, the Palestinian homemade rockets. Now, just so you'll understand, these homemade rockets actually constitute less than half of the munitions fired from Gaza into fucking Israel. The rest being military grade mortar shells, self propelled artillery rockets like the Russian Grad, and various anti tanks, missiles, and other toys procured from the peaceful Iranians. You know, stuff like this. Al Arabiya correspondent reported the Fedger 5 is an Iranian made replica of the Chinese made WS 1 missile. Homemade rockets. Fedger 5 is a surface to surface rocket. Homemade rockets. With 6 meters in length and 75 kilometers in range. Homemade rockets. Making it capable of reaching Tel Aviv. Homemade rockets. The Islamic Jihad claimed responsibility for launching the missile towards Tel Aviv. And after that, you have some pretty weird logical conundrums. For instance, you cannot proclaim a piece of dirt based on your political ideology. Unless you're a Palestinian or Iranian mullah. You can't racially inherit land. Unless you're a Palestinian or Iranian mullah. You cannot say this is the land of X. Unless you're a Palestinian or Iranian mullah. You cannot senselessly murder people no matter what has happened to your collective in the past. Unless you're a Palestinian or Iranian mullah. You still can't just go around murdering children. Unless you're a Palestinian or Iranian mullah. Yeah, okay, you, you got the picture. And then lastly, you have some good old contradictions. That together with dehumanization and everything else is really the hallmark of anti-Semitism throughout history. So it usually starts with the I'm not anti-Semitic defense line. Cannot conflate Zionism and Judaism. Which comes right before conflating them. Israel was created, which is totally based on the religious rhetoric. You know, they do that in order to show you that we are all crazy, fanatics, religious, whatever. And this is actually going to be the subject of the first video in the series. The other one is going to be about ancient Israelite history and Jewish mythology. And I'll probably do maybe one or even two more. And you can find the link to the playlist either at the link there or in the description box. So, like always, my beloved YouTube gang, peace, love, harmony, have a good one, people, I love you all.